Hey there, so for some time now people have been asking about how to uh, integrate Stripe with PT Distinction. Now in my other video I talked about all the different ways of doing this and how when you use Stripe and other payment processes with your website that you can use a URL redirect in order to actually integrate it with PT Distinction. I also mentioned in that video that there is another way to do this. Now for some time with my done for you packages I've actually been integrating Stripe in a very similar way to how you integrate PayPal. So for example, if you go to a preloaded client account, someone completes the form, they hit a pay now button uh, with Stripe, and it'll actually take the payment through Stripe and then redirect them to the client login. So just like it would do if you used a PayPal button with one of your preloaded client accounts. Now to do that, you have to do a load of crazy stuff. You have to understand a little bit about coding and you also have to put stuff on your server and all sorts of crazy stuff. Now, I was showing Tim this the other day at PT Distinction and explained this is one of the things that I do. And I said, I do want to try and share this with everybody, but it is quite a complicated way of doing it. So I did a bit of digging and I've managed to find a even simpler way of do, doing it by using a, a program, a free program called Buy Now Plus. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you how you can integrate Stripe uh, using a really cool program called Buy Now Plus straight into the uh, preloaded client accounts. So you can actually collect the data first before they make the payment. So let's look at how that works. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you have a Stripe account if you want to use Stripe. If you haven't got a Stripe account, let's head over to stripe.com uh, and sign up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head straight over to our preloaded client accounts and we're going to create a new preloaded client account. I'm going to create a new package. So I'm going to go add new package. I'm going to call this, uh, let's call this Stripe test. There we go. And I'm going to add in my programs just like I normally would do. I'm going to come down here and this is exactly the same thing as we do when we set up a PayPal integration this way. So we're going to go to number three and click yes. We are going to go and select, where has it gone? The third option here, which is allow clients to sign up before adding payment details. Now, normally we will go to PayPal now and we copy and paste in our PayPal button here, or we would leave it completely blank like I did in the video before when you add normal payment processing. But what we're going to do now is actually add a little bit of code from uh, Stripe into that. Um, so first thing to do is go over to this website, which is called Buy Now Plus. So I'm just going to close that off. So buynowplus.com should look a little bit like this. Once you get onto here, click this one here, which is Start Selling. And it'll ask you to authorize your Stripe account. It may ask you to log in. Now I'm already logged in under my account. If you are not logged in, it will ask you to log in. Uh, so log in, just follow the instructions, and then just click Connect My Stripe Account here. Now, once you've done that, it will bring you through to a page that looks like this. Uh, they allow you to set up your buttons. Now, this is super, super easy to do. Uh, it's quite obvious. So to set up a new button, just head over to the My Buttons bit here, and next to that, it says Add New Button. So click Add. Now we can terms is based on the name of the button, so uh, we're going to call this Stripe Test. This can be whatever the name of your program is, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to go Stripe Test. And then you'd put the amount of your program in there, so let's go for $50. Over this side you can put your price in, so let's go for $50 again. And you can choose your currency down here as well. Uh, I'm actually going to go for pounds because uh, I'm based in the UK. Now you can choose whether this is a fixed or variable rate. It's 99% going to be fixed. Uh, I can't see why you want to use the variable option on this, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be fixed. And then you add in your description here. Now you can put inside the description exactly what it is, you know, your workout program, $50, or let's say it's something like I want to uh, have £50 a week or £50 a month, or maybe it's a free trial first for seven days before you pay $97 a month. Whatever it is, you would write that inside here. So I'm just going to put some text inside there. Next up, we have the option to do test mode. Now, you obviously want to untick that. Um, you don't want it to be in a test mode when people sign up. I'm actually going to leave it in test mode just so I can show you how this works. So I'm going to leave that ticked, but when you're doing this, make sure that is not ticked. Then we head down here to the advanced options. You've got a few things that you can choose, like name, billing address, and shipping address. Now, you don't particularly need these because you've collected all that information already using the sign-up forms in PTD. 
Down here, you can then choose what your button text is going to be. Now, you could just have it as by now. You can also put your program name in. You can put whatever you want to put inside there. It doesn't really matter. Then, this is the important bit. This is your return URL. So this is going to be the login page for your program. So you're going to head over to your website, and you're going to make sure you go to your login page. When you get to your login page, copy and paste the URL and head back over to Buy Now Plus and just paste that in there. Now, if you wanted to, down here, you've got the cancel URL. So if somebody cancels the payment, uh, you can also send them somewhere else as well. So for now, I'm just gonna put this onto uh, my particular sales page. You could have a particular page set up in order to try and resell them back into again if you wanted to. But for now, I'm gonna go for this one. So I'm gonna head back over to my website. I'm just gonna paste that into the cancel URL. Now you don't have to put anything here if you don't want to, you can leave this completely blank. So once you're doing reoccurring payments, well if you click on reoccurring down here, you can decide if you want to take, in this case, 50 pounds weekly, monthly, quarterly, or yearly, it's up to you. And you can also decide if you want to have a trial period, so a seven day trial or a 14 day trial, whatever it is you want to set up, you can do that in there. But for now, I'm just gonna leave that unticked because I'm not gonna be using that. So once you've got that set up, that's pretty much it. You just want to hit the create button. And there you go. Your Stripe testing is already set up on here. You can go in and edit it by clicking this button here. Now, if I hit the view button, it's going to take me through to what the page is going to look like. Now, if I go onto this, you'll see some test mode at the top. It doesn't particularly look too much like your brand. So you may want to change some of the branding, the colors and things like that on that. And you can do that. So if you head over to Buy Now Plus, Click on the account option and click on themes. Inside here, you can change the different colors of the links, the buttons, uh, adding your own logos, images, and that kind of thing. So you can do all that inside here if you want to. I'm not gonna show you how to do that now because it's just gonna take too long, uh, but I think you get the idea. It's very similar to how you would brand out PTD. So I'm gonna head back to my buttons. Now at the moment, we have this URL. We can't use the URL inside that sign-up form. So, what we need to do is actually hit this button here, which is this share button. Now we have two options. We have the link at the top and we have the website embed code. So we're gonna copy that website embed code. There we go. And hit done. And then we're gonna head over to PT Distinction and I'm gonna paste that inside this top box. Now again, you can add your own text inside here if you want to, like, hey, you buy my program. Or well, whatever you want to put inside there, what you'd normally put inside there for uh, uh, your PayPal buttons, basically. So just set it up however you want to. But then do the detail as you normally do, uh, and then click Save, Close, and then we're going to open it back up again to get our iframe. So there we go. Scroll down, you see an iframe now being created. Now normally what you do is you just copy all this and you'd embed that onto your website. Uh, but because I can't bother to do that right now, I'm actually just going to open up that form just so you can see it. So all I'm going to do is just take this bit here. And we're just going to have a look at that form without actually putting it on our website. But normally you would just obviously copy this and put it onto your website. So here's our form. I'm going to uh, fill this in. Hit create account. So as you can see, it's now taking us through to this bit. We now have the blue buy now button, so we don't have the PayPal button. I have spoken to Tim. I think he's removing this uh, continued PayPal to complete because we're not using that anymore. So he is going to get around to changing that for us at some point. But for now, that's on there. Uh, hit the buy now button and it will take you through to uh, the page you've got here. Obviously, this will be rebranded if you change all your colors and that kind of thing. And then just pop in the details to make the payment. Now, this is test mode. So if you do want to try this out for test mode, you can do. You just need to put in a test card. If you're not sure how to get your test card information, if you just go over to your Stripe documents and then scroll down, and you've got a list of test cards here you can use. So I'm just going to use this Visa one here for now. And purely this is just to show you how it works. Uh, and they can put in any expiration date that you want. And put some CV codes in. And I'm going to click checkout. So once we've done that, it'll process the order. It will say thank you, and it will take us through to our thank you page, which is the login page for your website. So now uh, I've your client has created the account inside PTD. All the content from that preloaded client account has been added and the payment has been processed through Stripe. 
So I hope that makes sense. If anyone's got any questions, feel free to put them into the comments below. But that's how I would simply integrate Stripe into Peak Distinction the same way you would do for PayPal. I hope that's been useful and um, I look forward to speaking to you soon. Cheers, bye.